Hey guys, you're in a nutshell with me, Ina. Nako, alam na alam ko na. Nadudumugin na naman ang aking comment section. Dahil pag na pag-uusapan o kahit na papahapyawan itong topic nito sa iba kong mga episodes. Nako, talagang hot na hot kayo magbigay ng mga komento ninyo tukol sa topic na to. Okay. <laughs> Paano ba umpisahan to? Alam niyo naman na noon that there's a somewhat a growing anti- Um, immigration sentiment here in Canada. Or actually, I think it's more of anti-mass immigration sentiment here in Canada. Apag na, at kapag napag-uusapan niyang topic na yan, I'm sure, alam nyo naman, kayo mismo, ha, yung mga nag-comment yan sa baba. Um, laging meron pinatutukuyan madalas na isang lahi. Ano? Um, kumbaga, many blame them. Ayan. For... the problems um, now that are seen here in Canada. Um, eh, ba- bakit nga ba ganun, ano? Bakit kaya sila lagi ang uh, napag-iinitan, kumbaga? Ako, alam ko, many of you prefer that I, you know, directly maybe call them out or what. Mahirap sa posisyon ko, guys. So, sabihin nyo nang ano pa, para akong nag-iingat, kumbaga. Kayo po sa comment section, you know, you are free to say whatever you want about them. O, oh, sasabihin ko, of course, the Indians, um, that's uh, who we are referring to. Um, you guys are free to say whatever you want in the comment section. Pero mahirap po kasi sa akin dahil, uh, you know, mukha ko yung nakikita dito. And I guess I'm just being careful na hindi maging, ano ba, mang- manguna sa diskusyon that could promote, you know, stereotyping Indians or promoting discrimination. Um, yeah, iniiwas ako lang po yun. Kaya, ayun, I'm just being careful, okay? Pagpasensyahan yun. Pero, kahit na nag-iingat tayo, I do really want to talk about this stuff, topic. At nakahanap ako ng isang vlog, slash vlogger, na, yeah, gusto ko i-share sa inyo dahil, I think it's better to come from him. <laughs> Isa po siyang Indian na nandito sa Canada, and I think he's already a Canadian citizen, na. Tapos, pinag-uusapan niya dun kung... Itong topic na to, why Canadians want Indians out. Yun po talaga yung topic ng kanyang vlog. Um, tinatanong niya, sino ba may kasalanan dito sa basically sentimiento na parang meron ngayon towards Indians here. ba? Diba? And kahit na Indian siya, aminado siya, actually naiinis siya sa ilang mga ugaling nakikita niya. sa kapwa niya, Indians. Okay, so I think it's just better to come from him. Ayan, oh, tignan nyo dun sa upper left. Yan yung title ng kanyang vlog. Oh. Canadians want Indians out. Whose fault? Sino ba may kasalanan but may ganyang sentimento? For those of you who uh, maybe want to check out his channel, nakita ko ito, ang kanyang channel sa YouTube ay Dream Abroad. Okay, Dream Abroad. Ah, oh, sige. Um, his video was 14 minutes long. Pero, isiskip po na yung first two minutes. Parang isinet up lang naman niya yung discussion tungkol sa sitwasyon dito sa Canada. How, you know, in Canada, there are now complaints patungkol sa healthcare, ano ba sa job, sa crime, sa housing. At paniliwanag niya na isa sa mga sinisisi ng uh, Canadians ay yung mass immigration. At ang sabi niya, dahil ang number one source ngayon ng immigrants here in Canada... are Indians, yan yung isa sa mga reason bakit siguro daw sila talagang uh, mas nakikita, kumbaga. Pero, hindi eh. Meron din siyang mga sarili niyang complaints. Okay, sige, pasahan natin. But again, who is responsible and who is to blame for this hatred? Is it the Canadian government? Are we Indians actually responsible for it? Or is it Canadians who are just blaming Indians for all these problems? In my perspective, all three of them, the government and a small percentage of Indians have caused this trouble. And I would give some but least amount of blame to the Canadians actually who feel that way. Okay. Alam mo, tama, tama. I agree with this um, observation. No? I think more Canadians are blaming the government for, kumbaga, hindi nga na-manage daw ng husto yung pagpasok ng immigrants. Hindi na paghandaan yung surge na nga bilang ng immigrants. Sabi yung so, tinatanong din niya, meron ding dapat si sa maliit lamang na porsyento ng Indians. Okay. 
In my view, the biggest blame goes to the government, which had the short-term solutions to the problems, but no long-term vision. But first, I want to talk about us Indians. Are we responsible for the hatred that we are getting? Yes, we can't be blamed for the housing crisis and for the jobs that we are grabbing. Because of course, if any immigrant is coming in legally, they would need a place to live and work. It's the government and the corporates who are to be blamed. But yes, we Indians are responsible for a lot of things which are happening these days in Canada. Please allow me to explain it. India had this problem of brain drain. Do you know what it meant? The best brains, the creamy layer of the country was going out of India. But unfortunately, in the case of Canada, I'm very sad to say and experience this, that that isn't the case anymore. It isn't the creamy layer of India which is coming out to Canada. It is in fact the other way around. In the last couple of years, it's really frustrating to see the kind of people that have been coming over from India. If you're... Oh, nakita nyo ha. Oh, siya na nagsabi, no? Ang pinupunta niya, yung mga uri ng tao na dumarating dito sa Canada, noon, basically daw, cream of the crop, you know? I guess yung mga talagang skilled, workers highly skilled, uh, na malaki ang contribute sa ekonomiya ng Canada. But what he's saying, siguro, is over the recent years, parang kung sino-sino na lang, hindi na na-filter yung mga taong dumadating dito. Ayun na, no? Grabe. Okay. Siya mismo nagsabi niya na. At na, na, he's disappointed basically daw dyan. One of them, please don't take it personally. I may not be talking about you, but rather the 5 or 10% of the people that are coming over. Yes, I have a Canadian passport, but on my face it says that I'm an Indian and that would be there forever. But I don't want to be identified as one of those people who are creating ruckus here. Earlier, it was so rare to find Indians involved in crimes, but now it is so common. People are making videos how to exploit the food banks and how to escape grocery stores and public transport without paying. Oh, grabe, diba? Parang kumbaga, ako hindi ko pa nga masyado nakikita yung videos na tinutukoy niya. No? But he's saying that on social media, yung mga Indians are sharing videos kumbaga to hack the system here. Diba? Uh, pinopromote yung magpunta ka sa food bank. Hindi naman lahat pwede mag food bank. Okay? That's really for Canadian citizens and permanent residents. Um, lalong hindi po para sa mga international students. Kasi I think uh, may mga international students na pumapila sa food bank. Hindi po... Tama yun, tas binavlog pa nila na ano, no? Oh, dito ako ngayon, no? Kumukuha ko ng free food. Hindi po tama yun dahil um, when you come here as an international student, you should you are expected to have enough money to sustain your needs. Okay? So, syempre, no-no po yan sa mga Canadians na mas nangangailangan lalo dahil inaagawan mo pa sila <laughs> nung pagkain sa mga food bank. Tas meron pa siyang isa, no? Tinuturo daw sa social media nila yung... Paano mag-take ng public transport without paying? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Teka, babalik ko dito naman. Meron siyang kinakwento tungkol sa Dundas Square, ha? Young Dundas Square in Toronto was one of my most favorite places to visit because of the vibe. How happening is it? I'm very sorry to say, but Indians have destroyed it. Again, a small <laughs> part of those Indians, they keep dancing on Punjabi, on Bhojpuri, on Gujarati songs all the time there. And it is not enjoyable anymore. It is so annoying to watch. Until it was just about enjoying, it was all fine. But I believe it has gone way ahead. We okay, Ash. <laughs> Alam mo, sorry kung natatawa ako, guys. Ha? I mean, I don't want to get mad naman and then call them out for all this. Um, itong dinidiscuss niya na actions ng kanya mga kababayan. Pero I guess that's just my way of reacting of ano ba, in, in disbelief ba? Or wala, ganun lang talaga, okay? Pasensya niyo na. Pero tignan niya, siya mismo sabi niya, it's just really become annoying yung how they have been acting here. Nakita niyo yung ilang mga videos. If you haven't uh, seen my last episode with Kuya Puto, medyo napag-usapan niya yan. Eh. I think dyan mismo rin sa Danda Square na yan. And uh, he also talked about how... As new immigrants, 
dapat ano tayo hindi hindi masyado daw um, kumbaga imposing sa pamamal our way of life rather or our culture kasi tayo mga bugo hindi baguhan dito ang sinasabi ni Kuya Puto who has basically lived here his entire life for almost 40 years nandito na po siya we should learn to assimilate integrate nicely and i guess not Anoy, people, na huwag masyadong malakas yung dating ba? <laughs> Nakita niyo yung kanina, na talagang very loud music, playing in a very public area, dancing ng ganon. So, it doesn't sit well with uh, many people here. You would occasionally go there to see maybe somebody dancing on some Punjabi beats, on some dhol. But now it has got so annoying watching people doing vulgar moves, dancing like crazy. I don't go to that spot anymore. You may say it's just a one-off, so let me give you many more examples. Me being an Indian is actually now scared to go to Brampton. I used to go there maybe once every month for a good Indian meal, but now I go there maybe hardly once every six months. Uh, Brampton ang tinutukoy niya ha. Isa po yan sa sentro ng uh, Indian community in uh, the greater Toronto area. And that's where I came from before we moved here to Windsor. Sinasabi niya, no? Siya mismo ayaw niya na daw nagpupunta doon. Because I'm actually scared to go there. I've seen so many accidents happening. Agitated drivers, same behavior that we used to see in India. They don't follow the traffic rules. I live in the Kitchener Waterloo area. I've seen Indians jumping the red lights, jaywalking. I've seen them involved in so many crimes in the, some of the police investigations. And trust me, this wasn't the case five years ago. It really breaks my heart when I see something like this. And I know that many Indians might be commenting that it's just people from Punjab who are actually ruining the culture and doing all this stuff. Unfortunately, that's also not the case. Yes, because... Actually, you know, um, may nakapagsabi sa akin that even amongst Indians, tulad ng medyo sinasabi niya, meron silang internal, ano eh, alam nila na ang grupong ng mga India na ito galing sa lugar na ito eh mas rowdy o sila yung mga Indian sa pagdumarating dito daw eh mas magugulo yung mga ganun ba and sometimes some Indians don't want to be associated with them and they make it clear na hindi kami galing dito sa lagor na yan ha? may ganun daw so kung alam nyo nga yun sige share it in the comment section too Canada is famous for Punjabis that does not mean that they are the only one who are doing this kind of stuff I've seen Gujaratis, I've seen people from South India, I've seen people from, uh, you know, all parts of India, actually. So we just can't blame only people from Punjab. We have to take this on ourselves. We have to say that, yes, we Indians are the culprits. We Indians are actually destroying the Canadian culture. A big complaint to all those Indians, especially the international students who are working in grocery stores, maybe Walmart or... Uh, the food outlets, maybe Tim Hortons or McDonald's, please learn some sort of customer service from Canadians. If you go to any store, they do greet you with a smile because most of these places have Indians working over there. I don't remember when was the last time anybody greeted me when I went to Tim Hortons or Walmart. They would simply scan whatever you've got, ask if you've got Visa or MasterCard, put it in a bag and give it to you. Even if you say thanks to them, they don't even reply. <laughs> Alam mo, totoo yan. Sorry, ano, sasabihin ko, ha. Dahil, again, ga galing akong Brampton, ano. Um, paano ko ba sasabihin na uh, ibang-iba ang customer service in these, you know, fast food um, chains, sa mga team, sa mga drive-thru. Kasi sa Brampton, nakasanayan ko nga na yung mga service crew ay mga Indians. Dito sa Windsor, um, hindi, hindi masyado. Ibang-iba ang uh, level of service. Tama yung sinasabi niya, no? Medyo hindi sila masyado mapalangiti. Para bang laging nagmamadali? Gusto nang umalis yung customer na they're dealing with para mapunta na sa isa. Medyo may gano'n akong feeling when I was there. Dito, when I moved to Windsor, aba, ibang-iba. Um, they're so nice here. Na-amaze ako sa totoo lang. Tsaka grabe yung binatawan niyang linya kanina, no? Sabi niya, Indians are destroying the Canadian culture. Siya na mismo nagsabi nun, ano. At ang sinasabi niya, kahit na iilang tao lang yan sa kanila, kailangan they work as a whole community. ba? Tama nga naman. Kasi para maiwasan 
Kasi syempre, damay-damay nga ang nangyayari minsan, ano? Kaya dapat careful din tayo, guys. Ha? Let's not generalize them. Um, ayun. Okay. And it feels so rude. Now, I'm telling this to you as a big brother. I'm an Indian, so you can't say I'm being racist. Please remember that we are ambassadors of India whenever we are outside of the country. If you behave rudely, you don't have proper manners, or you are not very civic, then they would feel that everyone from India is just like that. As far as that video is concerned, where that lady was saying that Indians were pooping at the Vasaga beach, it might be true or it might not be true. Till date, she hasn't been able to prove it. Even the mayor of the city came out saying that there's no evidence for it. But maybe anyone did it. And if just one person did it, she blamed the complete community for it. So that is what happens. I request all those 5-10% people who are uh, behaving that way, who are not that civic. Maybe you are not one of them, but you know them. Please teach them as elder brothers or sisters. Da, balitaan nyo ba yun? Na meron daw nag-poopsy basically. <laughs> so, ano ba yun? Uh, unbelievable. Sa totoo lang. Pasensya na kayo ulit. Ha? I know this is no laughing matter. I know many of my viewers sa totoo lang are seriously, parang they have strong feelings about Indians. Um, in a, to the point na I know many of you think na um, sila yung may kasalanan bakit nagihigpit din in a way yung uh, Canada sa mga immigrants, sa lahat ng immigrants. Uh, but yeah, puntahan ko lang tong issue nung TikTok video na nag-viral claiming na meron daw India na ginawa yun sa isang beach dito sa may Ontario. So it turns out, wala po talagang siyang mapresenta na direct proof na Indian po talaga yung gumawa nun. Okay. Actually, I saw a video nga na pinuntahan pa siya ng police sa kanyang bahay to, uh, to discuss the video that she posted. And she was saying that karapatan niya magsabi kung ano yung palagay niya nangyari and she wasn't promoting racism. Pero yun nga, sabi nitong vlogger na whether or not it's true, ang impact niya na is affecting all Indians. Um, so, uh, pinag-iingat niya yung mga kababayan niya and to encourage each one daw to basically behave in a proper manner. Sisters? If they're doing something wrong, please tell them to stop because eventually it would be the complete community which would be blamed for their mistakes. We Indians have done tons of good stuff in Canada and everywhere around the world. We want to be credited for that good work, not for that silly stuff, that mistakes that small percentage of Indians keep doing all the time. Okay, now let's talk about all those Canadians who are actually showering all those hate comments. In the start of the video, I told that I would give least amount of blame to them. And that was because I want to give them a benefit of doubt of something that all humans have. This attitude of stereotyping or generalizing. Whenever we see something wrong happening somewhere, we feel that it may be something wrong with that religion or that skin color or that complete community or that particular city or whatever it may be a particular percentage of that community in this particular case a very very small percentage of indians who are actually behaving in this particular way here in canada having analyzed a lot of comments over the last few months i have noticed that they do realize that it is only a small percentage of indians that are actually behaving this way because indians have been living here for ages and they have never faced such kind of a problem before it is just in the last couple of years that they've also noticed such uncivic behavior. So maybe if any of those Canadians who actually likes to put those hate comments, I would like to say to you that please don't stereotype. I'm sure that things would improve in the days to come. So he's correct, of course. I totally agree with him. And guys, what that thing talagang is stereotype. Grabe, kami because we um, lived in Branton for a few years then. Halos lahat na kaibigan namin talaga doon Indians. Yung mga BFF ni Luna, yung mga first friends niya, I think they're 95% Indians. We invite them to her birthday parties, we play together. They're so nice, sobrang babait nila. So let's not generalize, let's not stereotype. Um, ayun lang naman, let's be careful, okay, when discussing this topic. Tapos naalala ko pa pala, no? Diba dinidiscuss ko kanina yung... Um, Grupo-grupo ng Indians na parang, kumbaga, there's a group of Indians from a certain city, mga Punjabi din yata na tinutukay niya na parang perceived to be 
ano ba, more parang rowdy, ganun ba? Na, basa ko, I just learned when I was, uh, you know, reading up on this topic. Sa Australia pala, last year pa, some Australian universities already banned the recruitment of Indian students. Pero hindi sa buong India, pero in select areas. Grabe, no? Kasi natuklasan nila na yung mga studyante daw from, I think, basta mayroong pinangalanan na four or five areas in India or provinces in India na kumbaga yung trend yung mga studyante galing doon nagda-drop kalagitnaan ng kanilang mga kurso. So, nag-work na lang. Basically, showing na hindi talaga nila intensyon mag-aral at ginamit lang din yung student pathway sa Australia para makarating doon. So, you know, gago may gaya yan dito sa Canada, no? I don't know, or kinonsider din kaya yun dito. Hindi yung lahat ng ano, Australian universities, just some Australian universities. Okay, hindi ko na pala babalikan yung video kasi um, I think from this part, kung saan tayo nag-cut until the end, he's talking about how the government for him failed to prepare for mass immigration. Pero ayun, okay, so sa kanya na mismo galing ha, hindi po sa akin. Yung napapansin niya mga katangian ng mga Indians na nagiging dahilan kung bakit um, medyo, uh, kumbaga, mm, they're being frowned upon, you know, their community here. But again, let's make it clear, let's avoid general generalizing. Ako lang talaga, guys, mahalaga talaga, I guess, as a new immigrants na matuto tayo maging mabait, huwag masyadong malakas yung dating. Let's not be very imposing sa cultures natin. Pag nandito tayo, um, tulad ng sinabi ni Kuya Puto, so panoorin niya rin po yung um, episode dami na yan. I'm so thankful, sa totoo lang, I don't even need to tell you guys this, yung mga kakasabi ko lang. Nakikita naman natin na tayo mga Pilipino dito sa Canada, we're very well behaved, we are, I'd like to believe, well loved, lalo na yung mga ano, masisipag natin nga uh, workers, they love working with us because we're hardworking, mga tahimik lang tayo, di ba? Um, yeah, let's continue being like that. Iniisip ko kung meron siyang na-miss out eh. Um, then, nabanggit naman niya, no, na um, yung involvement in crimes ng mga Indians. Uh, mas, kumbaga, mas, mas madalas daw niyang nakikita sa balita ngayon. Dati raw, hindi naman. Ano pa ba? Kung meron kayong mga naisip na iba that you think is contributing to this, you know, impression towards them. Nako, I almost forgot, syempre, yung mga uh, pagpaprotesta ng mga international students galing po sa India. It, yeah, as I said in the previous episodes, it medyo ang ang, ang dating e eh, medyo entitled sila. Yun po ang impression na uh, na iiwan sa mga Canadian citizens to entitled to demanding ano pa ba? Yeah, if you have more things to add, put them down there in the comment section. Um, yeah, so that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.